Plessy. Family, your fam fam. We are back in Six Flags of all places and we're here for Holiday in the Park. Oh my gosh, fam. We have been waiting for this day for so long because this park has over 2 million lights, has all the holiday yes. treats. Okay, so the merch, the food, like, oh, I'm so excited. So, several vlogs are gonna be made, but right now we're doing the food because there are so many things to go ahead and eat. Oh my gosh, fam, fam. And y'all know when, it, when it's a major all you can eat treat, we gotta bring him back up. So, who do we bring with today? My brother. Ooh, Julian, where are you? Yeah, hey, I was born hungry. <laughs> I was born hungry, yeah. So the first thing to go ahead and definitely get in the park is the funnel cake. Now this is the holiday treat that can't be beat. We're talking about the caramel cinnamon apple funnel cake. Now normally y'all know how I feel about you know getting ice cream on top of funnel cake. It makes it hard, but because the flavors are there, because it's a seasonal thing, this is a definite I gotta cop for it for sure. I know I look forward to it for it, fam. And this is one that I get to enjoy it right out of the so gate. Amazing. That's so good. And the best part about it is that if you get here early enough before like the whole festivities kick off the park is still kind of hot i mean let's face it it's southern california it's never really too cold here so you can definitely enjoy it early on in your day and then of course walk off all the calories but here we go mm. oh, oh, good. so good that caramel that cinnamon oh my goodness it borderlines like pretty much having apple pie with ice cream before Thanksgiving. I mean, I don't know if y'all do it at home, but I know I definitely do. Ooh, so, is that what makes it like holiday? Yeah, that's what immediately gives me the nostalgia of like Thanksgiving, like, you know, holiday uh, food, like a food holiday items. Dessert? Yes, and the fact that you get like the warm slices of apple pie in there, cooked down to a reduction. I, I want to say poached, you know, but it's so soft. It's so good. But the apple, mm. And normally y'all know that I fight you know having apples is not my go-to but because it's still got a crisp flavor to it there's a, a slight crunch you get that dynamic bite through it it's so good okay. so good all right fam apple pie on the rock cinnamon soju angry orchard a hard cider apple pie filling rim dusted with cinnamon sugar topped with whipped cream and a caramel drizzle and a drink so nice i've been asked more than seven times in the time i ordered it and got it to the table fam people are interested it looks tasty but this reminds me of the one that they had for halloween here which i wasn't too big of a fan of it this looks way better than the one in halloween i said it reminds me i'm not saying it's the same thing but it does melt fast so you got to go ahead and sip it real quick fam It's not that it's bad. It's just that that apple really comes through mm. all from the apple cider. So it's very tart, which is a good thing. But it, it, it's one of those like sweet, sour, puckering like apple bites that like just goes ahead and sends like chills on your spine. And then you're like, yes, that's good. That's good. So yes. So is that a cup or a drop? This is a definite. If you're one to enjoy an apple cider, this is a great way to go ahead and have that holiday treat. It is a bummer that they don't have holiday beers or a festive beer, maybe even a beer float. That would have been much greater to go in and accommodate that item. But for those that need something tasty, this would be great. Sadly, even though the apple cider is gluten-free or gluten-friendly, the rim itself has apple, that apple pie crust filling. So that is not gluten-friendly. So just FYI on that. But it is tasty. And a go, of course, price at $15.99. Another holiday special drink offered here at the Full Throttle Bar is the Merry Mimosa. This has sparkling wine with a splash of cranberry juice garnished with cranberry for $10.99. That looks tasty. It looks cool. I love a mimosa, so we'll see, fam. So cheers. It looks, I love the cranberry garnish. That's tasty. It looks pretty. It looks festive. Holiday party party. I love it. I love it. I like that you can come to Six Flags and get a mimosa. Like, it is tasty. It does have the cranberry kick to it. I like it. Especially if you like mimosas with a burger or something. Like, damn, that sounds fire. And when you don't want something orange or citrus. Salud, familia. Right? Feast your eyes on a holiday magic in a bun. Warm slice. Turkey, cranberry aioli, mixed greens topped with white cheddar, mac and cheese, crispy fried onions served on brioche bread, and sweet potato fries with some ketchup and sriracha. Yo, this looks good. Now, considering that I got that I had to miss out on mo on the festive nights over at Disneyland, you know, with the, the leftover burger, the leftover sandwich, I, you know, this is a competition on that. But I'm curious to see. Uh, I'm already thinking it's gonna be heavy because of how it goes. But this is a messy, messy sandwich, fam. There's nothing that's like holding it in together. Here we go, first bite. Mm. 
Your smile. I can see that you're trying not to smile. So that's a good thing right there. It's a flavor powerhouse. If anything, yeah. that. I was worried about the turkey, but the turkey is very moist and it's just got a juicy flavor to it. The mac and cheese is right cheesy itself. The macaroni is cooked perfectly. They pr practically just kind of melt in your mouth on it, which is fantastic. Taste the fries. The brioche bur like bun, they, it's very buttery. It's delicious. It's soft. And it just cuts right, you just cut right through it. The greens does give it a little bit of freshness, although I wish I had something more of a crunch in there that, to go ahead and give it that, I don't know, that, that dynamic bite. You all know me, I want that dynamic bite. Now the potato fries, sweet potato fries. I mean, we got ranch, that's always a great combination. Sweetness, perfection. Is it yes. warm still? Mm. Crispy, warm, sweet, all the good things. That spicy ketchup, because it's ketchup and uh, sriracha. Get out of here. That's a great marriage. You got sweetness, you got the kick uh, of the heat. Oh, it's so good. A great meal to go ahead and pick up. But I will let you know, fam, I'm a little worried of how sleepy I'm gonna be after eating this whole entire heavy meal. Jules here was, it's gonna get the frosty elixir right there, fam. The blue raspberry I see infused with rum. Flavored soju served with a sugar rim. Ooh, Perfect that's a sugar sushi. rim? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, Let's go, bro. Chug, chug. Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you ever wanted something blue and delicious, you can't go wrong with this. Alright, let's see though. Let's see though. <laughs> it went wrong. Okay. It went wrong because I can't aim. <laughs> <laughs> but is it good? Oh yeah. Yeah? yeah? Do, you, do you taste the rum or no? Like does it taste like it has alcohol in it? Oh I don't know. It gets overpowered by the sweetness, which yeah? is good, which is good. Oh but yeah, if does you it taste blue? Blue, blue, very blue. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, fam. So this one's the barbecue pulled pork egg rolls from the high octane wings location. All right, this one right here for the Jewel Meister. You gotta bite into it. You're the big king on barbecue. Let me know. Pass or fail. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Would you get it again? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. But it's not two egg rolls, it's just one egg roll. It's a thick boy. It's a thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. So, while well, you enjoy that, I know that you guys are all yes. going to enjoy the spicy yeah. wings. Here. What are yeah, we the here? honey sriracha wings. Now, these look delicious. I love sriracha and I love wings. It comes with a side of fries, so I'm very excited to taste how spicy these wings are and how, how much of a holiday it is. This okay, remind that, me of. It, that smells hot. It, it, it does? It, it, it stings mm. the nostrils. Oh yeah, it way. does. It yeah. actually does. So uh, I am, uh, I'm debating flat or or the wing. All right, well, I think both, I'm of you, get both, the wing. both of you, both of you, both of you. Let's do it at the same time, bro. Together, cheers, fam. Cheers, the wings. Woo! All right. Wow. Oh man, good stuff. Yeah. How so? Blew that out of the water. <laughs> oh. Well. I love this wing just because, okay, A, it came warm. This is still like a really, really warm temperature. B, it's not just like straight up sriracha. It doesn't seem like they just poured over the sriracha and made it lazily. There's depth to it. The honey comes through. It, it's not overpowering sriracha. So that's why it's a good balanced wing. But I really like this one. Bam, feast your eyes on the enchilada soup with the tortilla chips right on top. And the one, the only Julian's gonna go ahead and taste it for us. I'm what? Is it spicy? Is it delicious? Is it quesuzo? Uh, the world is waiting to know, my friend. Uh, let's see, let's find out. Let's it find out. It smells good from over here. It's coming in hot. Mm mm mm. Mm. There we go, there we go. Does it taste like an enchilada? Does it taste better than your mom's enchiladas? Just like mama used to make. It's pretty good. Nah, your mom forgot how to make enchiladas. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice and crunchy. Flavor's pretty good. Mm. Good, yeah. good stuff, good stuff. Is there a chicken in there or what is it? Just put a salsa? Mm. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that greatness right there. Look at that greatness. Oh, 
Hell yeah. That's greatness. Oh. Um, satisfied. <laughs> All right, fam, so we have the holiday turkey French dip sandwich. Now, this looks tasty because, I mean, it's got all the fixings. It's got tomato, onions on it already, a little bit of the greens as well. Now, this looks good. The French roll looks great. My only question in regards to this is where is the dipping sauce for our French dip, right? I need I need some ajou. I'm missing it here, right? This is going to be a dry sandwich. I'm already not happy with it because of that, but then it sucks because it smells fantastic. And it's... Oh! Dude. Yes, more lights than Disney already. True. Back but to the review. Need dipping sauce. That's so good. I'm still mad at it, girl. But I'm less mad. Okay, fam. It's good. It's really good. The downside is that it is a dry sandwich because of what the components are so you definitely need that ajou sauce for dipping into it especially because the bread i mean look at how thick that bread is which is a good thing you know, like the bread is actually tasty but bam will i get it yes would i get it again yes do i want sauce with it yes and with that said i'm gonna kill this and then go <laughs> ahead and uh, enjoy the park because the lights are on and the festivities are kicking off events here that we have with something new to the park itself and I know I'm a little bit out of focus fam but it's actually the, the whips right here turn it around here over at the near the West Coast Racers we actually have cars that are full on display here so turn it around wow that's so cool if it looks familiar it's because it's the same body building as a Hudson let's go check out the other one too seen this in commercials. Yes. That's so cool that it's out here to take photos. It's a nice photo of. And wow. we actually brought with us someone that can actually drive one of these things legally. So uh, it disappears. <laughs> Julian, look at us. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the coolest lighted tree I've ever seen. Wait, like, it's so me. squiggly. It's, 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 yeah. It's, you guys know what I'm saying? It's awesome. <laughs> that's works. so cool. Wow. Dude, yeah, that's I freaking amazing. Lights. How do you even get those lights? I don't know. That's dope. That's uh, dope. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Six Flags <laughs> magic right here. Heck that yes. Nice. Heck nice. yes. We're going with the elote. Now, this is not what I thought we were going to get when we ordered elote. I was thinking corn on the cob. Oh, it's a pasta moon esquite, right? Right? Yeah. Esquite. It's got the mayo, it's got the chili powder in it. I mean, it's got Está butter. preparado. Está preparado. A ver, Julian. Uh, Vamos a ver. I'm expecting big things. It's better live up to at least Park corn, park street corn. All right, here oh, we go. We'll see, we'll see. That's a tall order from here, man. That's a tall order. Oh, second bite. Oh, the flavor's there if you went in for two. It's pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Really? It's almost on par with park street corn. Really? What? What's it missing? Does it need more lime? I feel like it would, like I don't smell like the citrus in that. It's even spicy. What? There's no zapatillo. <laughs> oh yeah, this is, this, is, this is pretty good. All right, then what? It's not missing anything. The the spice came kicking in. Okay. Oh heck yeah. Oh, all right. Mm. Big cheese. Good stuff. <laughs> all right. Damn. 
All right, fam. So here, Becky gets the tamal plate. Yeah. Mm, tamal de qué? The Wait. puerco, actually, yeah, from yeah. the charged up taco stand right All here. Right. So let's give this a try. It All looks right. good. Well, how can you tell if it's wrapped up in the leaves here? Oh, you can see that the red sauce is coming through already. It's got a good smell to it. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't even sold in a bite yet. Almost on this. Okay, it doesn't look dry at all. No, no, that looks tender. That looks good. That looks like moist. We'll see though, we'll see. That but looks like they have plenty of carne. Let's see. Should my bro put some light right here or no? Yeah, put it. Have bro? And Julian said let there be light. Whoa, all right, whoa. let's take a, okay, okay. So it's not like super red, but it does have a nice color on it. Okay. I do have some pork right there, some masa. Here we go. And? I do like it because it's moist, surprisingly. I thought the, my concern was that it was going to be like a really dry tamal. What I do wish is that they put a little bit more pork in there because the pork flavor is really good. But I just feel like I'm not getting enough for each bite. But I like it. I like the flavors. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not disappointed. I'm just like, yeah. What about that it came with chips? Are you okay I don't know. I don't know why it came with chips. I would never eat a chip with a tamal, so I'm not really going to touch that. But hey, maybe you guys like it at home. I'm not going to judge. <laughs> Ooh, you guys, I'm I'm surprised that they sell champorrado here, but tamales and champorrado, like you can't really it's go wrong. Right? Yeah, it's got to go and the cute little Six Flags holiday in the park mug that it comes in is cool. I like it. It is warm, so let's see. Now remember, they do have hot cocoa here, so that's going head to head with that. Oh, what do you get, champorrado or the hot cocoa? Or un cafecito? It's not bad. Okay. It's not bad, but it does taste like a champorrado, just not like like your grandma's champorrado or your tia's champorrado. No, that's but major it, competition. These are like yeah, 18 year olds making it. It is good, man. It is good. But I think I would go with another drink. But con los tamales, if you're gonna do like that, like champorrado with tamales, then right there, it hits the money right there. Perfect. All right. I mean. We have eaten everything from around the park. Now, the great thing about here is that there are several places that sell the same dishes, so you don't have to go to those specific spots we went to, but we shared the spots where it was more convenient as we pretty much traversed the whole entire park, enjoyed the lights, enjoyed everything coming yeah. to life. I mean, It honestly, was yummy, honestly. I'm like pleasantly surprised at right. some of the dishes. The like, food, yeah. the, the decorations. I mean, there's so many things. We're still gonna do a merch video. We're still gonna... We're probably gonna go right on that. Well, I'm gonna write on that. You can't write on that yet. But of course, we're gonna do the merch. We're gonna go ahead and also show you around all the lands. Another vlog in that one. But bam. yeah, make sure you check out that link right there. Right, right. But as always, don't forget to like button, subscribe if you haven't, smash the notification bell. We'll catch you in that adventure right there.